What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another special, uber special loot crate unboxing. Da, 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 da. This has been a little bit, been a little bit of a delayed uh, loot crate unboxing due to the fact I've actually been on holiday, and this arrived whilst I was actually on holiday. So it is actually interesting for me to actually open this late in a sense, because I've seen a couple of videos pop up, but I haven't actually seen them myself. I've actually been saving myself to uh, open this surprisingly, like yay, or what's inside? Um, but yeah, should be good. So let's take a little dive into the Game of Thrones and Elder. The scrolls, I do believe, fiend loot crate. I've already torn it open, as in uh, cut the sellotape thing, just to make everything much better and quicker. Okay, so I'll sort of like keep it to the side and show you guys what is going on. I'm just going to shuffle the camera. Apologize for the weird noise that may have made. Hello. Okay, so first things first, got the uh, got the special little booklet as, uh, as ever. Let me have a little gander what the stuff is inside. Dragons. Ooh. Instagram pictures. Ooh. Game of Thrones. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's a quiz. Cool. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the uh, Mega Crate. That's, that's cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. It's got like a bunch of figures of the old uh, of the uh, Game of Thrones characters, which is pretty uh, nifty. Some shades, which is... Strange, I guess. Um, yeah, this like G Force thing, or was it G Force? So it was a like, games Vanguard personal gaming environment. So, huh? It's not bad. I guess it's a little uh, travel thing for your game console if you ever need one. Um, fair enough. Anyway, so let's dive straight into this. What should we grab first? I guess this is the first thing we can sort of get first. So we've got a Game of Thrones vinyl figure. There you go, guys. We can get a collection of different ones. We've got like all the different guys. We've got. Different people, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I do watch Game of Thrones, by the way, guys. This is sort of like my uh, I'm so tired today and so mentally unstable uh, that I can't be able to remember the name. I'm joking, not mentally unstable. Um, no, I'm just I'm a bit more tired today, so I can't actually think straight. But I know it's like got Jon Snow, Tyr uh, Tyrion, and all that stuff, and Joffrey. Did you guys watch Game of Thrones? Oh, don't want to spoil it for you, any of you guys that haven't, but ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. I don't really want to say anything, actually, because I'm not too sure if any of you actually seen it or not. So, I'll let you guys, uh, what's it called? I'll let you guys watch it. it was, Game of Thrones is actually fantastic. If you guys have never seen Game of Thrones, absolutely awesome series. Probably one of my favorite series of all time. Probably second to Chuck, but I absolutely adore Chuck, so I'm not too sure why. I just absolutely love Chuck. It's fantastic. Okay, um, no one I've ever met has really agreed with me on such a good series. I mean, I like I like Chuck. I really do like Chuck, but you know, most people don't like massively like it as much as I do. Anyhow, <laughs> kind of getting a bit distracted. Okay, so finally got this box open after about twelve hours of rambling. Okay, and some. Do you like doing this? Why why put the plastic bag around it? It sounds like extra ceiling protection, so you can smell the fantastic new smell of them. But still, okay. So who? We? Oh, I think oh a dragon. We got the dragon. We got one of the we got the white dragon. How beautiful. That's actually quite, I actually do quite like that. That's actually quite cool. So how rare is this one? Uh, oh, it's probably one, yeah, it's one of the most common ones. Huh. Oh, sorry guys, chair squeaking a bit. So that's two out of 24. So why, why put two out of 24? Why can't you just put one out of um, 12? But fair enough, that's quite cool. That's pretty nifty, that's actually, I like that. That's will go with my uh, rest of my stuff up there alongside the Superman thing. I'm just shuffle this around a bit so I've got my room. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me pop it up there. Boop. Looks very beautiful, I think. Nope. Move that back a bit. Give it a bit of room. There we are. Golden. Okay. Um, all right. What else we got? Underneath this, there is the... <laughs> what? Okay. I guess this can come in handy, but I'm not too sure about the whole... Uh... Um, okay, so it's a Dragon Shield screen cleaner. Um, also, it's reusable. That's not bad, I guess, then. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's not bad, I guess. It's okay. Um, <laughs> just a random dragon. That's really weird. That's a weird thing. Anyway, I'm gonna pop that back in the box. Okay, so what here is a Elder Scrolls Online, the Nord. I'm guessing it's another figure by the looks of it. Probably is. They normally are. Let's bust this open. Wrong theme tune, Jordan. Wrong theme tune. Wrong theme tune, Jordan. I do apologize for me being a bit tired today, guys. I'm just a little bit just under the, not under the weather, but I'm still jet lagged from uh, my trip. So forgive me. I may be a bit 
I may be a bit distant in a sense, so yeah. Okay. Tearing this monster open and the Nord. Oh, got his helmet nearly fell off. Uh oh. Hey, right. always oh, your stuff. Oh, hang on. Oh, damn! That smells. Oh, he's got a sheath and everything. Hang on. Oh, no, he's got an axe. Okay. Okay. His helmet doesn't his helmet doesn't stay on perfectly, but okay, so this is the uh Nord guy. That's quite cool. Let's take his helmet off, see what it looks like. He looks all uh, rugged and stuff, like every single character in Skyrim. <laughs> Very egg-shaped in a strange way. Okay, so let's put some swords in his hand. <laughs> this shows that you can have fun with toys, no matter what your age is. <laughs> okay, so we've got a sword and an axe for him as well. There you go. That's quite cool. Apparently, I think this, because they said about how they, they, there was something in this loot crate, which is going to be, like, exclusive to loot crate. So I'm guessing this is one of the stuff, because that's quite cool, actually. That's quite nifty. There you go. Little Nord thing that can go with uh, Superman and the rest of the guys as well. I'm actually going to clear a space quickly. I've got, literally, I've got these on the tiniest of spaces as well. There you go. I think by the time my loot crate thing is over, my, my like, like loot crate obsession, I do believe I'm going to probably not have much room up here. Oh, I haven't got much room already. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so what else we got? I'm going to have to decide. Actually, just pop that in the bin. I apologize for you my chair squeaking as ever. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got Dragon Slayer, dog tags. <gasps> In case you want to be so cool. That's not... That's cool, I guess, but... It seems a bit childish for me anyway, but I don't know. I don't know, laddie. I don't know. That's quite cool. I, I guess it's quite cool. I was always one of them kids when I was younger. I was always like, uh, I always saw the dog tags, and I was always like, Oh, we're gonna get some dog tags. But I never did, because, <laughs> you know, bad parents, sir. Anyway, um, so... This is quite a bizarre thing. In here, just by itself, for some strange reason, is a blue die. Just a blue die by itself. That's strange. It's like a, one of them like, multi-sided ones where it goes up to bloody hell. Uh, 20, by the looks of it. Yeah, 20 is the biggest number on that. And also, as a bigger version of that, we've got a soft one, uh, which goes up to, uh, by the looks of it, also 20. No, it says 19, looks like the highest. Yeah. And it's got a weird symbol on there, but I'm assuming Dungeons and Dragons, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, okay, I don't really understand the point of having this, though. I mean, because you're just given die with an actual reason. That's, unless there's like some kind of thing I'm missing. I might look in the booklet in a second and see what it says about them. And uh, last but not least... Oh, yay. I'm guessing I'm going to have to try some of this, aren't I? Um, I don't actually like this stuff as well, which is kind of annoying. Um, so this is Mikey's Dragon Jerky. Beef Jerky. You guys can see that. And it's got the tiniest, most weirdest looking beef jerky I've ever seen in my life. Sitting back here, but obviously it's Dragon Jerky, so it's meant to be weird. Oh, I'm too tired for this stuff. But okay, this crack's open. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh! I need to have some more enthusiasm, some more strength. I can't even open the bloody packet. Where else are we? Okay, let's get some scissors. Oh no, my mentor, guys. Let me just dig for some scissors on my desk. I've got lots of shit on here, apparently. Oh, I can see the scissors. Scissors are seen in the distance. There we are. I should probably have all this stuff ready. All right, please don't smell. Please don't smell. Please don't smell. Okay. Should I smell it? Oh, didn't. I don't mind beef jerky. Like, I used to like it when I was younger, but I just don't. I sort of like come off it recently. Because I bought a bag recently. That actually doesn't smell too bad, actually. Okay, so let's try it. I, I've never once in my life understood. Do not eat. <laughs> okay. Do not eat and do not. <laughs> Okay, so the last time I had some of these, I may have misunderstood what this thing was. I may have... <laughs> okay. Um, what, I don't know what this actually is. Oxygen, oxygen absorber. And I ate this stuff. Okay, basically what happened to me last time I had, one, I had some beef jerky. I actually uh, poured that stuff in. I tore it open and just poured it straight in. Because I thought, oh, it must be like some kind of salt. Bearing in mind, it had been a while. It must have been like about four years and since I had the last piece of beef, beef jerky. And I thought, oh, I might as well sling that on. It must be like some salty beverage. And I thought, oh, it's disgusting, so I didn't like it. But anyway, let's give this a go. Okay. That's, that's 
weird. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. That's okay. Because as you guys can see on the camera, it is a bit green. I can you can kind of taste what that is. Is there anything weird on it? Apple cider. A bit strange. Uh, beef. Dragon jerky flavorings. Okay. Dehydrated vegetable, vegetable pieces. Blah, blah, blah. Teriyaki sauce. I actually said that right. I think I did. Yeah, wow. Um, wine, vinegar, salt, onion powder, spice extract, succinic acid, garlic powder, blah, 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 and salt. Fair enough. I can't actually probably speak after all that. <laughs> well, fair enough. That wasn't too bad. That's quite cool. Um, I don't know about this one, though, personally, though. I mean, because normally I give you guys, like, a lowdown on what I actually thought of the whole loot crate. I don't know. I, I don't know about this one. This one's probably maybe... I don't, don't want to say the worst, because... Uh, was it though? Because I mean, I like my soup. My Superman was quite good. I like that one because of the Minecraft calendar and all that. That was easily probably my second best compared to the Titanfall one. Then obviously the other one had a t-shirt in it, which was not too bad, making it like a, not the best, but obviously not the worst. I don't know where this one would come in though, because it just seems not fantastic. But I don't know. Hopefully, you guys understand what I mean. Anyway, so there's the we've got the minifigure to make sure we've got everything. The jerky, yum yum yum. Okay. Let's have a little look. In your dungeon master choosing the... Oh. Is the dungeon master choosing the lamest quests? Does your friend keep uh, RPing as Navy from... Navi from Legend of Zelda? Grinding verbs, running long distances without mounts, and fighting raid bosses are real terrible and can get really annoying. Well, you no longer need to resort to table flipping or rage quitting. Just take a, it out on this... Oh, it's a stress ball. That's actually quite cool now I think about it. It's just a stress ball. It's not actually intended as a die. Actually, that's... Actually, not too bad. That's actually quite a cool little geeky thing. So, 20 sided die. Why? It's, it's always good to have a 20 sided die. Have especially life tough decisions, especially when you're a geeky game. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so, it's just. Okay, so the way they sort of like uh, justify putting the die in there is you can use it for tough decisions. I suppose that kind of makes sense, but. That's not bad. I. Yes, this was better than the. Um, uh, what was the other one? The t-shirt one, maybe? I'll probably say so, because the t-shirt one was pretty bad, and I have to admit, it's probably most, my most regretted one yet. But this wasn't great, and I probably wouldn't say this was as good as my first one I got. Maybe? Because this was, it was pretty good. I did enjoy it, but... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, this is, I'm sort of dragging this on a bit. My bad. Um, I have been lost. I've done once again, you guys, and beautiful as ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this weird loot crate box, and I apologize for my actually tired state. I do. I've just been trying to... Guess I've done, and um, well, not even guess I've done. I've been just trying to relax, and it's just difficult because I want to work all the time on my YouTube stuff, and it's just I, I'm so tired too. It's just like the clashing of two things. It's annoying. Anyway, guys, I've been lost from Ravdon once again. You guys have been beautiful as ever, and I hope to see you in my next Luke Creator unboxing and every other video which comes up soon. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been lost from once blah, 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 blah. <laughs> once again. I've been lost from Ravdon once again. You guys have been beautiful as ever, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Watch out.